black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all, so here's what's going down today. I've been craving a grinder sandwich, Italian deliciousness, all in buns. Now, non-traditional version, I don't have a crusty loaf. I got these Portuguese buns. I got the meats. I don't like capicola. I don't like prosciutto. Prosciutto reminds me of pea. It smells like pea. I don't like it. So we're going with turkey ham, two salamis, Hungarian and Genoa. And then I got all the rest of the fixings all laid and displayed. But really what we have to do first is make the grinder salad lettuce thing that makes it nice and saucy and flavorful. The rest is pretty easy. Some garlic butter here and whatnot, but let's get into this. I've been craving these sandwiches for quite some time. Okay, grinder lettuce. Iceberg just into like a little shred chop. Nothing too crazy, simple, simple. Mayo-based sauce, so you do as much as you want. I'm just eyeballing, I'm thinking like three quarters cup. Might normally have red wine vinegar, all I got is white, so I'm going in with this much, couple tablespoon. Then I'm also coming in with a dash of pepperoncini liquid, coming in with a nice bunch of fresh cracked pepper, coming in with shredded Parmesan cheese. We got the diced chopped pepperoncinis into rings. We got mandolin shaved onion going in, pinch of salt, some oregano flakes, basil flakes, and we got parsley flakes. All right, now we mix that thing up and see if our uh, ratios are correct. We might have to uh, adjust, but I think we're gonna do pretty good here on this. I can already tell that this is a delicious, flavorful sandwich topper. So many good things in there. Yeah, she's perfect. Definitely perfect. Gotta take a taste tester and see. It's absolutely amazing. I'm pop that in the fridge for now. All right, more of an Italian sandwich, but we are crossbreeding with these Portuguese buns. Just what my store had. They did not have any nice, like crusty loaves, but we just gotta make some garlic toast, some cheesy garlic toast. So I've just whipped up my own garlic butter here. All right, we paint brush on the garlic butter on both sides. All right, nice coat. All right, these guys are going air fryer, like maybe 300 for, I don't know, six minutes kind of thing. We're just gonna bake them off crusty. Check back when they're ready. Okay, perfect garlic toast, nice and golden, crispy on the bottom, tops and bottoms. Don't know if it gets double cheese usually, but I'm going double cheese both sides right now, because I don't care, I want more cheese. <laughs> and uh, this is uh, Gouda. You can do whatever you want, but I wanted Gouda. Don't worry, that's just seasoning from already putting these on, but not having my mic plugged in and having to redo the shot. Okay, life's not perfect on YouTube when you're making content. These go in the broiler for just a little minute to melt. All right, perfect little Gouda melt. Let's build these. Okay, first things first, go in Hungarian salami. A couple of layers. These are known to be meaty sandwiches. Next, we got the Genoa with the Genoa with the cracked pepper in it. After that, I'm rolling in with the ham. And we're coming in with a couple layers of turkey. A nice slice of tomato. Subway glove with all the juicings and things on it from this salad topping that we smoosh on top of the grinder, the grinder lettuce. Cap that top. We're gonna go ahead and stake these and rip a cross section. And it's gonna be sloppy in here, I do believe. But hopefully not too sloppy. Open her up. And reveal that perfect interior of a beautiful, wet, yet crispy, crunchy grinder sandwich. Let's eat. All right, shout out to the Italians on this one. Sorry if I bastardized the sandwich a little bit and straight from tradition, if I could speak. But uh, I think we're pretty close. Uh, like I said, didn't have the long like hoagie roll at the store, couldn't find one. So we do these buns. And then like I said, prosciutto smells like pea. And uh, capicola is, I don't know, it's all right. It's not my favorite thing in the world, so. We're doing it a little bit my way, okay? So, 
let's get into this. This is going to be a sloppy mess. Can already tell. Perfect cross section. Here's the butt. Hit it from the back one time. And I'm just going in for a bite. My first time ever having a grinder. Although my city's full of Italian people and we got delis aplenty, I've never seen one offer a proper grinder. A sandwich after my heart. You guys know I love juicy, runny, saucy. Pepperoncini liquid filled things. And this hits. that entire criteria. What an amazing sandwich. Vinegar, spice. Got the garlic bread cheesy coming through. And then a sharp cut from the onions. Then the meats just provide like that saltiness in there. Quite a salty sandwich, I would say. Absolutely. And then just this aspect of it right here. Cleaning up the scraps from that. That wet ass lettuce sauce. Never experienced a sandwich where the lettuce is legit a sauce. You know what I mean? Like, oh my God, look how perfectly stacked. I don't know if it's supposed to be this runny. might have over vinegared a bit but honestly it makes it amazing right look at that And these buns are so on point. I've just watched so many like food shows and YouTube food channels where people live, where they have grinders. And I've just always watched And craved one so bad. So I had to take it into my own hands. Quite literally. Nothing like a beautifully stacked deli sub. Or deli sandwich. Mmm. 
There's no way I'm eating two. Put this other one in the fridge for a little bit down the road here today. Crazy. That's what it's all about right there. Wow. What a wonderful creation. Shout out to uh, whoever invented that. Some Italian genius. Hats off to you, sir. All right. A little sweaty. That's what happens. The pepper cheese and the vinegar kicks me up. But it is what it is. Till the next one. You know what to do. Try this if you haven't. Eat good, live well. Stay true.